um, and uh, coming out uh, with great energy and uh, knew we needed to start fast, thought we did start fast, thought the defense um, really made them one-dimensional early on, and then uh, we did some really good things, Avery and DJ rushing the football, uh, kind of opened up a lot of things, Avery was healthy as everybody could see, and so that really makes our offense a lot better. Um, so just proud of the guys, man. We found a way to, to get a W, especially on senior day for the uh, seniors. Yep. Lapac was up, yeah. Um, just to give some energy for the O line. I thought that was going to be really important. Um, we'd talked about it a couple weeks ago, and then uh, uh, this week uh, it was my decision that you're coming down because I want your energy down there. Um, we wanted to keep Wells and Avery together, so uh, Clint Brown, who's um, was an analyst for us last year went upstairs. He's been down on the field. He went upstairs along with uh, Coach Lepak and um, did the best we could of, of trying to give Riles the information. But I thought it was really impactful in between drives to make some adjustments. And um, I, I thank him for doing that. It was a selfless act. I said, this is what I want you to do. And he said he'd do anything for me. Yeah, I, I, we told him we were probably going to get double-digit carries. Um, we were down Dylan today, so that was going to uh, make him have to carry the football a little bit more. Um, there were some things that we thought we could get in the run game uh, with the quarterback. We were able to exploit those things early on. Uh, and then once the score got a little out of hand, then we kind of you know reeled, reeled him back in and didn't want to run him as much. No, it, it was great celebration and excited for those guys. And a uh, um, lot of belief from us coaches in those players, a lot of belief uh, in what we're doing is the right thing. And what we're doing is um, the right way to do it and a, a successful way. Um, and uh, those kids rallied behind us as coaches and they rallied behind each other. And, and this was an important win for uh, a lot of reasons. Yeah, um, big time effort on uh, on, on fourth down, especially because there was a handful of those that were in critical situations, uh, and those those weren't fourth and ten, fourth and twelve. Those were fourth and short to medium, and uh, Joe Joe brought brought a lot of pressure. And I I, I like the quarterback; I think he's a good player. Um, but we just kept bringing pressure at him and uh, getting him off his spot and forcing some of those incompletions on fourth down. Yeah, the huge key at the end of the first half to be able to get the interception and not get three out of it. I thought Avery made a big time play of, of a escape and after Mott had the big interception and, and finding Trey Spivey and really proud of Trey Spivey the way he stepped up. Offense scored on over half their drives today. What helped from an efficient standpoint to help the offense? Um, the fact that we Rushed for 281 yards makes it a lot easier to stay on the field. And so, uh, and we didn't turn the football over. That was a huge thing. We had a couple penalties in the first half that, that stalled some drives out. Um, but we played clean football from the standpoint of uh, wanting to not turn it over. And then, you know, we were two of two on fourth down, and a couple of those were big time plays. You mentioned Trey. What allowed him to be efficient today? He's getting a chance to play, and um, he goes and attacks the football. Coach Austin McNord, KNCK Radio Concordia. You scored on the first drive of the game. How did that kind of create momentum, and how do you guys feel like you build out that after the struggles on offense? Yeah, well, um, just I thought it was important for us to start fast, and, and one of the things we were going to do was get Avery on the edge pretty quickly, and he was able to do that and make some big runs, and then uh, – you know, we were able to, to finish the drive with uh, uh, Avery rushing the football. So, you know, we were able to rush the football. Things open up. Coach, I want to ask you about your seniors. I know you touched on <coughs> Obviously, Brendan Mott had the interception yeah. first of his career. But, I mean, just what are this, these seniors meant to your you know, there's first-year seniors, there's six-year seniors, and, and everything in between. And those six-year guys came in with us. In, uh, in 2019 and, and weathered the storm when, when a lot of people um, maybe would have, would have bailed after that 20 season. Um, they didn't. Uh, they've been the foundation for our program. Um, they mean the world to me. I'd do anything for them. They've always had my back, and that is something that is 
so important. When you're going to have a player-led program, um, the relationship between the head coach and those kids is so important, and those guys got my back. And the other thing I have for you, Coach, is, I mean, you talked about Avery with 10 carries tonight, but Joe Jackson, 10 carries as well. Well, um, he's always a really good player, but you got Dylan and, and DJ back there, and we didn't have Dylan available, and so he was going to play some. And uh, it's like Trace Bybee. You know, there's some other guys that maybe are older that are in front of you, but you're going to get an opportunity. When you get an opportunity, you make the most of it. And uh, Joe Jackson's a really good football player, and it excites me to know that We've got Joe Jackson for a while, and we've got uh, Trey Spivey for a while, and uh, those kids are impact guys. On the radio just now, you called Trey Spivey a stud, and I'm, I'm curious if you can elaborate a little bit on that. Just what makes him special? He's so physical, and he attacks the football, and he runs through arm tackles, and, and he's a violent kid when he catches it, and uh, that, he's got an attitude to him that's a lot of fun to watch, and the, what you guys see out there is the same way that kid practices, and that's what's special about that kid. He practices so hard because he wants to be great. And also, we ask all the time, but DJ Giddens is on pace, I guess, for the most average yards per carry, and he just seems like he's really having a special year. For yeah, and uh, he's been banged up, and I thought he was as healthy he's been as he's been in the last two or three weeks. And uh, it's, help, it's great when uh, he's healthy, Avery's healthy. It makes our offense uh, – uh, a lot more difficult to to stop. Part of the other kind of consequence of not having Dylan is not having him in the return game at all. Uh, can you kind of talk about Bryce Norberg and what he's done to kind of earn that? Yeah, um, scout team. It, it matters, and he's done a great job getting jet sweeps on scout team and and running and running through the smoke and being the scout team kickoff returner. And I went to Cats on on Tuesday or Wednesday after we had some developmental stuff. Um, some young guys against young guys, and he took one and really ran hard. And I said, Katz, what about Bryce? He goes, I love Bryce. He'll stroke it up in there. Let's give him a shot. And with this red shirt rule, you can play the kids four games. That was just his first game. So excited for him. And then uh, we've got a lot of confidence in Sterling back there on punts. Anything else? Just go ahead with that one. Uh, there were a handful of seniors that didn't go through the senior day ceremony. Is there anything to – there. No, a lot of them went through it last year, and you know that's an emotional time. And we, you know, Hank and Casey Feldkamp, they handled that. That, that wasn't going to tell the kid what he could and couldn't, didn't have to do. But we, we had a lot of guys go through it last year that they felt uh, we did that once. Last one, Mitch. You good? Okay. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Thank you.